Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah Engineer at Site YouTube channel. So guys, today in this video I am going to share how to prepare WIR work inspection request and some people call it RFI request for inspection. Which type of document will be attached to the this uh, work inspection request and how you will prepare and what you have to put. I will show you the full format with the full detail. All with all the attachment and then how you will submit it to the consultant so if you are new to our uh, YouTube channel please subscribe our YouTube channel like the video and give us your feedback in the comment box and guys watch the video till the end and this is an important video for QC engineer site engineer so please watch the full video till the end so let's move toward the laptop screen Assalamu alaikum dear friends so you can see on the screen this is work inspection request WIR here you have to put your company logo contractor logo you have you have to put client and consultant logo this will be the issue to it, issue date the issue date means when on the date which you are going to submit WIR so you have to put that date right here and here this will be the WIR number here you have to put like the few number your company the name division quality type of document WIR discipline sale if you are submitting for sale so you have to write sale if you are submitting for electrical so you have to write electrical architectural mechanical survey whatever and this is the number of WIR and if you are submitting the revisions you have to hear the revision number here you have to write ITP number ITP for the work so you have to write the ITP number here and this will be the division number the division number you will take from the BQ BQ reference number you have to write here and this is a project name company name and this is the project manager name from the consultant okay so now inspection details here which type for which full detail for inspection like discipline of inspection if you are going to submit the blur for architecture so you have to click on architecture if you are uh, Submitting WR for several to so you have to write for the several. If this is like concrete or soil compaction, you have to write several. If you are submitting for concrete, concrete work, steel works, so you have to write, uh, uh, click on several and structure both. If you are submitting for electrical, so you have to click on here for mechanical here. For electronics or IT, you have to click on this here. If it's a general WIR for any general work, so you have to click on general. If this is a new inspection request so here you have to click on new inspection request but if you are going to submit the revision so you have to click on this like sometimes the work is rejected and you are going to resubmit that work WIR so you have to right click here re-inspection and you have to uh, uh, un uh, uh, unclick this one and when you are going to resubmit the WIR revision so you have to attach the copy of rejected work but this was a new inspection here you have to write again the WIR number if you have any inspection checklist to here you have to write inspection checklist for the activity now come to description of work so I prefer this WIR for the steel installation of footing for staircase and terminal one so here you have to write the description for which thing you are submitting WRF is for the steel so here you have inspection for steel installation of footing for staircase and terminal one inspection of steel for columns lab beam soil compaction testing for concrete casting whatever you have the inspection so you have to write here the description all the details about the inspection you have to write in the description of the form after that here when you complete the description so you have to mention here the location location of the work where you uh, the, the inspection will be carried on so this is this part is for the inspection location here so our staircase putting is uh, located in terminal one parking level one so you have here you have to write the location now Re relevant drawing reference so here you have to write uh, shop drawing number or ifc drawing for we and you have to also attach that drawing to this wir because within this drawing the consultant will check all the detail about this inspection so this is the related drawing a relevant drawing with the inspection here you have to write the inspection date like today 
on 27 June you are submitting the inspection request so the next day are should be the inspection date and here you have to mention the inspection time if there is any other work order or any more details you, ha you will have to mention here now the third part of the WIR is clearance from MEP department or any other department if there is any department have a concern with that work so you have to take them from clearance with this still there is no department uh, or there is no utilities from mechanical or anything from service so you will not I didn't take any clearance if there is any MEP utilities underground utilities or any MEP work like mechanical electrical plumbing or any other department work so you have to take them clearance how you, they will take them clearance you have to write WIR number you have to write that clearance number MEP clearance number or work inspection request from the MEP side you have to put that number here status approved not approved and signature from that person like the first you have to take clearance from civil survey side and they will sign here and the clearance date mechanical if it's clear from mechanical so they will write the mechanical number and after that there should be a clearance from the electrical department and if there is any other department so you have to specify here and take clearance from that department now contractors qqc confirmation of compliance with specification approved drawings with statement and quality control plan yes everything all the work is are as per shop drawing with the statement quality control plan and specification so you have to mark yes if this is no then it means there should be an ncr if you mark it here no so it means that you go again the specification drawing so it means that you get the ncr or you will get the ncr so here you have to mark it yes and if you have any NCR with the relevant drawing, so you have to put it here. Here you have to write your name, sign the WIR, put the date, contractors, PM, and you have, uh, his signature and put the date here. So guys, this is the WIR form. Issue date, WIR number, ITP number, division from, taken, should be taken from the BOQ discipline you have to mark it here that it's for which discipline mechanical electrical seven if it's new inspection so click on this here a new inspection if it's the re-inspection the revision so click on here if you have any inspection checklist so put the inspection checklist number on this area after the description of the uh, wir here which thing will be inspected you have to write full detail about the inspection location for the inspection relevant drawing with that inspection with their structure inspection date inspection time and specification number so here you have to write the specification number for the work the work which is done at site and you are going for to inspect that work so you have to write the specification number here this is part is for the clearance for MEP department or any other department and this is a contractor number that work is complied with all specification drawing methods and quality control plan you have to write yes then you have to write your qqc name sign date contractor pm name and sign date so after that when con consultant come for the inspection so these are codes for inspection code a notice of no objection could be subject to recommend could c comply with the comments and resubmit could d notice of objection when you get could be admin at cr yeah. complied with comments so you have to resubmit the comply with comments and resubmit you have to it means that you have to resubmit the revision for this wir subject to comments it means the work is approved with comment code a there is no objection and the work is approved harder by 100 and this in this part the consultant will write their comments if the comments is more so they have to write the comments in the comment sheet so this was the wir form after that what you have to submit with this wir you have to attach the approved shop drawings so these are approved shop drawings for this work like you can see these are the approved shop drawings for the staircase you can see this is the staircase this is the staircase foundation all the details so you have to attach this staircase foundation uh, your shop drawings for the relevant expansion and the third attachment for this is the approved MIR 
for the material like in the steel you are using the steel so the steel should be approved from the consultant and you have to up, uh, attach approved MIR material inspection request this is the material inspection request for the steel which is the approved see this is the approved bar the consultant and so with the WIR you have to attach the this is the work inspection request you have to attach shop drawing with the relevant work and you have to attach the MIR with the relevant work so guys if you find the video informative please like our video and subscribe our YouTube need a YouTube channel if you are new here and inshallah tomorrow I will uh, make a video on the MIR material inspection request which I will show the its format like this and I will tell you what type of documents will be attached to the MIR so thank you so much for